Hello, we're going to talk about the pH scale. Kind of cool, you're going to like this. So pH stands for, for hydrogen, and really it just means the amount, the concentration of hydrogen in a solution. Now when I say concentration, the specific unit that I'm talking about is capital M, molarity. And you'll recall that molarity is going to be moles of the solute, and so this case, in this case we're looking at moles of hydrogen very, very specifically. So it'll be the moles of that hydrogen ion divided by the liters of the solution. Um, so I put a graph right here and I love this graph. You can recreate this graph and it will help you understand um, at any point when you're taking a test what pH is that per hydrogen. Um, so on the y-axis we have concentration, the x-axis we have the pH scale. Now you know that the pH scale goes from a 1 to 14, but really what does that mean? Notice how I divided this graph in half. Um, up top, we're going to have the concentration of hydrogen, and then this bottom pie piece is going to be the concentration of hydroxide. Um, so if we are at a pH of one, I'm going to put a dashed line so that you can make this really, really visual and see it. If we are at a pH of one, check this out. The amount of hydrogen is significantly greater than the amount of hydroxide. And notice how I wrote these. I did them in the brackets. Uh, recall that bracket is code for molarity, moles per liter. Here, molarity, moles of hydrogen per liter of solution. And here is going to be the moles of hydroxide per liters of solution. So here is a huge takeaway for you. Um, when we have a pH less than seven, the concentration of the hydrogen is greater than the hydro, excuse me, concentration of hydroxide. So notice, um, when we have a low pH, that doesn't mean that I don't have any hydroxide. It just means I have more hydrogen ion than I do hydroxide ion. That is the summation of an acid. So anything less than seven is considered an, considered an acid because it has more hydrogen than hydroxide. Now, pH of seven, very, very beautiful. This is going to be neutral. That will be neutral. Um, so what do you think neutral means if I'm looking at, and you guys, give me grace, I'm not a fabulous, fabulous artist or drawer. <laughs> um, pH of seven means that the hydrogen concentration equals the hydroxide concentration. So we're going to have hydrogen equals hydroxide. All right, pretty cool. Um, so spot on neutral, those amounts are equal, pH of seven. Um, next, let's look at a base. So if we've got a base, and I'm going to pull down this line so you can see it visually, notice the amount of the hydrogen, the concentration is small, whereas, wow, the concentration of the hydroxide is huge, really, really big. So what's our takeaway? For anything that's a base, the hydroxide concentration is greater than the hydrogen concentration. And really to drive this home, remember when we have a base, it doesn't mean that we don't have any hydrogen ion. It just means that the hydroxide concentration is greater than the hydrogen concentration. And of course, anything above a seven is going to be considered a base, will be considered a base. Now, two more things that I want to attach to this. If we have the universal indicator, um, so you put this little indicator, uh, it's a mixture of weak acids, um, into any of these solutions, universal indicator. So let's say that we had solutions that would represent the pH um, from one to 14. Um, you're going to see the colors of the rainbow and I want to attach it to this scale. Um, so we know that a base using, excuse me, an acid using universal indicator is going to be red. And then we're going to do Roy G. Biv all the way up to um, our 14. And that's going to be your purple, your purple, the violet. So it's going to be your purple. And then spot on right in the middle, universal indicator is color is green, is color is green. So you're going to have red, orange, yellow, green is your number seven, um, and then the blue, indigo, violet, that purple, um, that those are going to be your base colors. Another thing that you need to know is the attachment of our formula from the auto ionization of water. Um, so we are going to have um, that Kw equals 
the concentration of hydrogen times the concentration of hydroxide. And do you remember what that is? If you haven't watched this video, go watch the video on idle ionization under the playlist acid-base equilibrium. It equals one times 10 to the minus 14. So let's jump in at the neutral right here. I had said hydrogen equals hydroxide. Well, by looking at this, I can tell you right now exactly what those concentrations are. We're going to have one times 10 to the minus seven for the hydrogen times one times 10 to the minus seven for the hydroxide. And what does that equal? So remember exponents you add, one times one will be one. Minus seven plus minus seven is oh, 10 to the minus 14. Um, and that's going to be true down here as well. When I have the acid, you're going to have a larger concentration of hydrogen, and then that hydroxide will be multiplying those. Smaller hydroxide will always give you that one times 10 to the minus 14. Same thing up here. So like on my base, if I have a um, smaller hydrogen concentration, let's say one times 10 to the minus 10, I know that I'm going to have a large concentration of hydroxide. That's the definition of a base, more hydroxide than hydrogen. This might be like one times 10 to the minus four. Multiply that, so that would make my hydrogen ion. This would be my hydroxide ion. What does that equal? One times 10 to the minus 14. It's a base because I have more of that hydroxide. Now be careful. Remember these exponents on concentrations, they're negative. So the hydrogen, 10 to the minus 10, that's a smaller amount, smaller concentration than 10 to the minus four. Just be careful that those are negative, that, that doesn't confuse you. Okay, so a great discussion on pH scale. Have a good day, thanks.